In this lesson, I'll show you four examples on how to write a compound statement in symbolic form. To be successful here, you'll need to know these operations, these symbols, and they are listed on your screen in order of their precedence. Starting with question number one, we're asked, write each compound statement in symbolic form using the Boolean operators shown above. In the first statement, we have, the art show was enjoyable, but the room was hot. So this is a compound statement consisting of two parts. The art show was enjoyable and the room was hot. They're connected with the conjugation but. Now I know that this word is not listed in this list, but it's the same thing as and. So we'll use this operation, the symbol, to connect these two. I'll call this first statement P and this statement Q. So I can write this as P but Q, or P and Q. That's the answer to A. As you can see, only one logical operator was used. So we don't have to worry about ordering the operators, since there's only one. In B, we have, if the tire is flat, then I will have to remove it and take it to the gas station. So this compound statement consists of if and then, that's a condition, so this is one statement, I will remove it, that's another statement, take it to the gas station is another. So we have to introduce three letters. Let's call this P, Q, and R. If and then statements can be represented using this arrow. So I can write down P, arrow Q, and this symbol, R. Lastly, in part C, if the boss doesn't like me or thinks I'm lazy, then she will not give me a raise and I'll have to find another apartment. Let's highlight all the different parts. So we have a condition here, if and then. In between that we have two statements. The boss doesn't like me, thinks I am lazy, and then afterwards she will not give me a raise. That's another statement. And I will have to find another apartment. We'll introduce four letters, P, Q, R, and S. P and Q are connected by a disjunction, or, so I'll write down P, the symbol, Q, and P is negated, doesn't. So we'll put a tilde, that symbol, and put this in brackets. There's a condition, if and then, she will not give me a raise. R and S are connected by a conjugation and R is negated. The conjugation symbol, S. That's the answer to C, let's move on to question two. Let H represent my backpack is heavy and R represent it's going to rain. Write the symbolic statement in words using this symbolic statement. So we have H representing my backpack is heavy. That represents, according to our chart, and so my backpack is heavy and it's not going to rain because of the tilde. And there you have it. That is how to write a compound statement in symbolic form.